Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel once again. So the Love Cup rotation will be leaving uh, season 10 GBL very soon. But before it leaves, I did try out a very great uh, team with a really interesting core over here. So the, the, the main focus in this team is Electrode, which is really solid pick in this meta because ground typings are not very relevant. And uh, the only thing Electrode key loses to is the charmers like Clefable, uh, Wigletuff and Aromatis etc. So uh, with with Electrode I am going to uh, pair up Ariados which is a really great code to it because Ariados can easily handle all the all the charmers that uh, is there in this meta. So that's the reason I am going to use this core of uh, Electrode and Ariados along with uh, Makago or Medicham in the back. So for my battle, I, I, am, I will be using Makago. Uh, but if, if you don't have access to a Makago, good Makago rather, uh, Medicham can be a great pick for this core as well. So the, the, the team strategy over here is uh, the core of Electrode and Ariados along with the Makago. Uh, so the Makago comes handy in safe swaps over here or maybe Medicham in safe swaps uh, over in, in this in this uh, team strategy but uh, to be very, very precise and if we dig deep down this team uh, can be a ABB team to Charmer or Fairy as well because both my backline of Ariados and Makago can easily handle uh, Charmers so so to actually uh, pull out or maybe bait out the counter to a uh, charmer or maybe a safe sap to the opponent's team will be a great thing to lure out with Ariados or Makago. So that's the reason uh, and that's the thing I'm uh, trying to do over here and uh, that's all for this team comp and uh, let's see how this team uh, worked out for me and without further more delay let's get straight into the battles and check out how it performed. So now moving into the first battle over here, I've got lead of uh, Talon Flame, which is really great uh, for Electrode. So now uh, since they safe swapped into their Electrode of their own, I will be safe swapping into my Ariados because Ariados uh, do output Electrode to their discharges and I don't want to face uh, the Talon Flame with my Ariados. So uh, with this uh, matchup, I am uh, going to outpace it to lunges, but I'll be first shielding the first discharge and then I'll be going for the next lunge to debuff my opponent. Now the throws one more discharge over here, which is actually debuffed. So I'll not be shielding this time and actually now I'll be going for the next lunge, which will uh, do debuff my opponent's electrode uh, dis discharge like volt switches again. Uh, and now since uh, they went for one more volt switch, uh, which is might be they are going for the hard farm so now i'll be going for the next cross person which ensures the shield uh, like both the shields from my opponent which is really nice so now i'll be coming back with my electrode and this could be a hyper beam which i'm having to let it go because it is double debuffed which it is so hyper beam does almost 50 percent of its health and they comes back with a crafty of their own so now uh, this is going to be a power of punch which will not be enough to knock me out but still i'll be uh, forced to put up my final shield uh, for my electrode so now i will be going for back to back discharges over here and let's see yeah i do land the discharge perfectly and they sneak in one counter which is not really good because they are actually boosted so now i'll be going for like going into my makago to which we simultaneously switch out and they are switched out over here so i tapped on the rock room but they went for the first attack so this is going to be a brief bird which is fine i can easily handle it and i'll be now going for the uh Rock, rock tomb over here which will easily knock this talent flame out of the sky and they will be left out with their only scrafty so now scrafty is ready no so i will be trying to farm it down but before that i have to take in one more power of punch which i can easily survive and since i sneaked one incident through it will take the damage and i will be getting the win for the first battle so that is a ggs a great game to my opponent so now moving into the next match uh, against 
uh, Ariados lead over here. This is not a great lead and they safe swapped into the Medicham. So for Medicham, uh, I do have a counter to it, which is the Ariados because uh, both counters and power of punches are double registered, but I have to look out for Psychic over here. So since uh, I was counting the moves, I thought this is not going to be a Psychic, uh, but I, I still did not I, I still did, uh, did put up the shield because uh, Medicham have got access to Psychic which can easily one shot from that range. So now I'll be going for my next lunge which will easily uh, double debuff this Medicham and now I cannot shield over here because I cannot go uh, both shields down which is a Psychic but it is not enough to knock me out from that range. So that's the reason I'll be going for the next cross person which might uh, draw out the first shield or maybe uh, I, I, I can easily align my uh, Electro to my next Pokemon. So, so the next, so my opponent comes forward with a uh, with the Alamomola to which my Electro can easily handle it. And so, winning switch over here was really necessary because I I didn't want uh, my uh, Makago to face this Alamomola over here. So now, since they switched out into the Ariados, I can easily switch out into my Makago over here, which can uh, easily put really great pressure with this uh, Rock Tomb and Incinerate. So inter Incinerate does work with damage because of the bug typing on uh, Ariados and uh, somehow I missed some bubbles which uh, easily turned out really great because I can easily farm uh, farm up a bit of energy from this uh, from this Ariados and uh, I, can, I can easily farm this down. So now they will be coming back with their own Alamomolas to which I will be going for the uh, Rock Tomb because Rock Tomb actually easily uh, actually like have the potential potential to uh, drop the drop my opponent's attack. So since I I thought that they will be farming me down, I switch out over here and it ends up being psychic, which is really great. So now from this range, I'll be going for the discharge, and since uh, they are uh, debuffed right now, so this is going to be one more discharge, which will uh, draw out the final shield from my opponent, but. Now let's see, this is going to be one more Psychic, but I believe I do survive it, or maybe I don't. Uh, yeah, I survive it because the because of the Rock Tomb uh, debuff can, uh, like, did give me the win for the second battle also. So, great game. So moving on to the next match, uh, I've got a lead of Medicham over here, which is kind of tough. So that's the reason I tried to switch out into the... Uh, into my Ariados over here, but this is going to be a power up punch which I can easily handle, and then I'll be switching out into my uh, Ariados. So now, uh, this time I'll be counting very precisely, and now I'll be going for the first lunge. So, uh, so we get two power up punches and lunge at the same time. So, power up punch takes five counters, and psychic takes uh, eight counters. So, uh, since I was counting, they switched out into the Alamomola over here, uh, and I am happy with it because Alamomola against Ariados uh, with a with a energy advantage does not have a great matchup because I can easily shield the first Psychic and go for back to back lunges over here, which might uh, give me the knockout to the Alamomola or might draw out uh, potential both the shields from my opponent. So let's see what my opponent decides to do over here. So I'll be going for the first lunge and now I can easily outpace to the next uh, Psychic over here uh, from the Alamomola. So this is going to be one more lunge which might draw out the first shield from the opponent which uh, my opponent lets it go which is really nice to see. So since they came back with their own electrode I will be uh, trying to debuff my opponent with the lunges which does neutral damage over here which is really nice. So since they sw switched out again uh, into their own uh, Medicham I will be coming back with my uh, electrode because Makago doesn't want to face this uh, Medicham which is using counter and power up punch. So this is going to be one more counter which I let go and now I'll be coming uh, like I'll be getting to two discharges over here and going for the first. So the, this discharge do get give me the first shield from my opponent and now I'll be uh, going for the next discharge. So let's see. Uh, so I get uh, both the shields back from my opponent and now I switch out into my own Makago to switch uh, to soak up some damage from the power up punch and now I'll be going for the hard farm which is really nice. So this is going to be a boosted, double boosted 
power of punch which will do hurt so that's the reason i'll be putting my first shield over here so beg your pardon my and final my shield throws over here so this is going to be a discharge which i can easily survive and i'll be trying to get to one more rock uh, rock tomb over here which will easily get the knockout from this uh, range to the electrode so now they're only left with the their own uh, their own medicham which will easily uh, get knocked out from the damage from incinerate and in turn giving me the win for the third battle so ggs moving into the fourth battle over here against uh, a charmer over here which is really nice to see so that's the reason uh, i i am not sure why this uh, switched out so that's the reason they came back with their own electrodes to electrode i have got a huge hard response to it which is the ariados and ariados can easily flip this matchup because uh, of its spamminess and the ch uh, chance to debuff my opponent's attack as well so i do get the first shield from my uh, opponent over here to which i i believe i'll be letting the first attack uh, go through which is in turn a foul play which is uh, neutral and now i'll be putting up my putting up my first shield and going for a bit of extra extra energy so i'll be counting up to three discharges and now i'll be throwing my first cross poison which will uh, knock this liquid out from that range or might give might give me the final shield and uh, my opponent lets it go to which i get the attack boost and now they comes back with the aluminum vola to which i can throw this lunge which is boosted and get the attack drop from this aluminum vola which is really huge so since they came back with the aluminum vola i will be coming back with my uh, own electro and to which they switched out into their own aromatis so to aromatis also i have got a great response to it because uh, my makako can easily handle charm charmers with uh, rock tomb and incinerate so they let's uh, this rock tomb go through which is really nice and i believe this is going to be a psychic which i let it go yeah i can easily survive that and since it was double debuff uh, like single debuff which is really nice so now i'll be trying to hard farm this makago uh, hard farm this aromatis down with my makago and i am left with a huge lot of energy so i could have got to this uh, could have could have thrown the overheat which would have done more damage but i am happy with the uh, defense uh, bigger pardon my opponent's attack drop so now i'll be coming back with my own uh, electrode which uh, gets to one discharge uh, which might give me the final shield but my opponent does recognize their fate and let it lets it go which in turn gives me so the win for the fourth the final battle, battle as well. so this time and the video game i've got lead of uh, medicham over here to which i get to the discharge first so now uh, due to some lag i could not burst. i i do miss some bubbles and i do a great uh, attack throw over here and now since i am calling the bait over here uh this this might be really risky and my opponent's uh, opponent throws a psychic over here which is not really nice so to which i'll be coming back with my uh with my ariados and they switched out into their own wing attack uh legacy charizard so which is really uh impressive and uh fun so that's the reason i'll be safe swapping again into the counter to a charizard which is my makago since my Ma since my makago have got access to rock tomb i'll be uh, getting to it really uh, fast enough uh so now i believe they will be coming back with their own medicham uh yeah they comes back with their own medicham and this is not a great scenario for me i should have undercharged the rock tomb to get some uh loaded energy from the from the charizard but they end up going for the uh, ice punch and to which i load up onto a overheat but i could not tap it over there i was not sure what uh, this gbl is actually presenting over in this battle and they went for the psychic over here again so to which they have a talon flame onto their back which is not really great and i uh, lose the final battle of the set which is not very but nevertheless i do end up getting a 4-1 uh, winning set uh, with this team which is really nice and uh, that's all for this video and this uh, team so if you're liking the content on the channel do like share uh, subscribe to it and see you again in the next one till then peace